we'd like to share about degrees of comparison and introduce you to some of our friends here at London Independent School. Hi, I'm Xi'an from South Korea. Hi, I'm Junior from the United States of America. Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm from the United Kingdom. Hi, I'm Stella. I'm from Mexico and the United States. Hi, I'm Rakaya, and I'm from Indonesia and the United States of America. Do you all know what comparative adjectives are? Hmm. What about adjectives? Can you write down an adjective? So, adjectives are words that describe a noun. Well, nouns are words for person, place, or thing. So, we would like to share about our countries. The names of our countries are all nouns. All nouns. The United States is big. South Korea is small. The UK is small. I think South Korea is smaller. Really? Let's check.
That's right, it comes from good. Oh. So better is the comparative adjective from good. We don't say gooder, we say better. And the superlative is best. You are the best. Oh, thank <laughs> you, really. But there are some more adjectives that are irregular or that use the word more for comparatives and most for superlatives. So listen to this conversation. So Stella, where have you visited in Bandung so far? Have you been to Tangguhan Parahu? I don't think so. Yes, you know the volcano? We went there a few weeks ago, remember? Oh yeah, when we walked through the tea plantations too. Wow, that was a long walk. Tangguhan Parahu is one of the most famous places in Bandung. I think Kawaputi is more beautiful than Tangguhan Parahu though. But I think Bali is more famous than Bandung, right? I think it's more popular than Tangguhan Parahu. You're right. I think Bali is the most famous place in Indonesia. A lot of people in England know Bali, but not Indonesia, even though Indonesia is so big. There are more people in Indonesia than England. Yes, there are so many people here, but it's not as busy as Jakarta when I landed there. True, but the traffic has got much better in Jakarta. It was worse before the subway was built. There's so many great things about all our countries. We have to remember that every country has wonderful things about it, and we have to respect everyone's culture. Well, when an adjective is more than one syllable and doesn't end in Y, we use more for a comparative and most for a superlative. So we say more famous, not famouser. But I think Bali is more famous than Bandung, right? What about good and bad? Mmm. Well, we say better for a comparative for good and worse is a comparative for bad. And best and worse are the superlatives. There's another wrong example of an irregular comparative adjective. Less and least are superlatives for the, the adjective little. So let's play a game to see what you have learned. Choose a category and create as many sentences with comparative adjectives as you can. Are you ready? Ready! Sun is faster than Harry Kane. Harry Kane is cooler than Pulisic. Messi is better than Ronaldo. Messi is shorter than Pulisic. Every country has their own national food. For example, Indonesia's national food is nasi goreng. 
and nasi goreng is spicier than American food, like burgers, because it has chili in it, and burgers are not spicy at all. Mole is from Mexico, also has chili in it, and it is spicier than fish and chips from United Kingdom. Fish and chips is greasier than Japanese food like sushi, and sushi is healthier than nasi goreng. Hi, my topic is going to be about dances from around the world. So Bollywood is faster than square dancing. Tango has more arm movements than Irish dancing. Ballet is often slower than hip hop. Hi, I'm Junya, and these are my comparative sentences. My topic is songs. Dangdut is louder than K-pop. K-pop is faster than country. Country is more subtle than rock. Pop is catchier than country. Rock is louder than dangdut. These are my sentences. Harry Potter has more books in the series than the Maze Runner. Wonder has shorter chapters than the Last Hero. The Land of Stories is newer than A Wrinkle in Time. Okay, did you hear? How many did you get? Did you get more? So let's review. What do we do when a word just has one syllable? What about when it's one syllable ending in a vowel and then a consonant? Hmm. A word has more than one syllable ending in Y. And what about these words? Many, good, bad, little. We want you to be happier speaking English. Keep studying. We're watching you. Happy New Year! Thank you! Bye!